Isn't it fascinating? This is a TBM prototype. First, we will show you all the parts we have demonstrated in the prototype. This is the cutter head. This is the shield of the TBM. This is the control cabin. This is the belt conveyor. Inside this fence, there is a transformer. Conveyor belt motor and gearbox assembly. This is the shoving frame on which the TBM will give thrust and push itself forward in advance mode. For that, we have used a small compressor for the pneumatic function of the thrust cylinders. Here come the hose drum and cable drum units. This is the control unit for the prototype. We will control all its functions from here. Now we will show you all its functions one by one. Let's start with the control panel. This is the start-stop button for the cutter head. This button is for forward and reverse rotation. And this potentiometer is for cutter head speed control. Similarly, this button is for the screw conveyor start-stop function. These buttons are for erector control, and these buttons are for the belt conveyor. This button is for lighting control. Now see how the cutter head rotates as I control it from the panel. Isn't it fascinating? You can control speed as well as direction of rotation. Okay, let's experience the next function, which is the screw conveyor. Can you see it rotating? You can control the direction of rotation as well. This conveyor takes out the material excavated by the cutter head and feeds it to the belt conveyor. Now both the cutter head and screw conveyor are rotating. Now I will show you how the belt conveyor rotates. So now the cutter head is rotating, and both the screw and belt conveyors are running, so we will start the advance function. Before advancing, we need to start the compressor. So we will start the compressor. Now you can see, machine is advancing, while cutter head rotating, screw and belt conveyor is running. And here comes the most interesting part, the erector functions. Here, we have only shown two functions, forward and rotation. First, we will start with the travel function. As you can see, we can also control the speed of travel. Now you can see its rotation function. It can travel and rotate at the same time as well. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more science and tech content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.